Originally, I thought this floor wasn't in that bad of shape. Um, I started sanding with um, a little belt sander and uh, palm sander in the corners. The problem I ran into is you can see the finish comes off easy, but when you look here, you can see lines going this way right all those grooves which to me says along with how i was sanding this way with the grain and this is bare but there's a spot here this is bare there's a spot here i believe that the last person that finished this probably about five maybe ten years ago um, belt sanded it and they went against the grain so now i have to fix that um, because you can actually see it in the floor. I didn't even notice it before. I guess I wasn't looking, but you can see it's everywhere. It's those lines going through the grain. And I don't like that. So instead of uh, doing that forever, I broke down and got myself a big boy. So I got a lot of the floor sanded with that machine, um, but here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> I got it late last night and I really didn't have time to do this whole floor. So <laughs> I've learned a couple things along the way. Though I did construction for a long time, we always hired people, you know, professionals to do the floors. and. Um, so a couple tips for you so far. First of all, uh, make sure you have time to sand. Second of all, make sure you get plenty of sandpaper, um, plenty of pieces of sandpaper, because you go through it pretty quick with hardwood. This is oak. Um, you go through it really, really quickly. And I guess that's it for now, but also I broke down and I got an edger and I didn't want to get the big machine to finish all this but I got an edger. I started with 36 with 36 grit with the other floor sander. Um, this one I got 24 and I got six sets of each. Um, 24, 36, 80 and this is working really well right now. Um, knock on wood. Uh, so I'm going to use this for the, just to finish this because I didn't want to get the big sander. You know, you shouldn't really use this for the field. It's actually an edger, but I didn't do the edges really. I was doing it with this stuff and it's not, you know, it's just going real slow and I'm going to burn out my stuff. So that's what I've learned so far. Um, the floor is the very last thing in this room and I wasn't going to settle for this. I want it nice, clean, and um, I'm just going to keep sanding away with this thing.
right. Coat number three. Still a little wet, but I think it came out really good. I threw these doors back on. So what I have left is just to touch up the baseboard where I hit it with the sander and the poly. And I am done with this room. Yeah, that's it. So, thank you for watching, coming along on this journey. And um, hopefully I'll be doing this again for another room. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I feel very uh, happy that this is over. <laughs> so, thanks for watching.